Welcome to the home office and today we will be talking about using the coordinates mode or pre-planned mode for the LS6 glide bombs. And the advantages of this mode is that you don't need to mark the target with a targeting pod, but you will need to know the coordinates of the target you are hitting. And that is not really something that some of us wants to bother with. So, obviously, Decca Ironworks have given us a simple solution for this, similar to that one that Heatblur uh, has uh, done for the Vigan. Now, we have friendly forces right in the wooded area here. They are guarding this bridge, but they have requested that this bridge that is close to the city of, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, uh, need to be destroyed. So what we are going to do is that we are going to use mark label on the F10 map, and we are going to mark it very clearly indeed, PP1. Yes, very fun indeed. PP2. PP3 and PP4. You can only mark four pre-planned points and they will be in your navigational computer as points 36, 37, 38 and 39. But like I said, you can only have four of them. So marking more than that is not really an option. So, the next thing we want to do is we're going to go back into the office itself. We are going to turn to our loyal ground crew and have them update the DTC data. Copy. Updating the DTC now. What they're doing right now is that they are putting the coordinates that we specified onto the DTC card. So, and the airplane doesn't need to be shut down for this. All you need to do is stand on the ground and have your canopy open so you can address the ground crew. So let's get this uh, plane booted up and ready to fly. Okay, with the aircraft booted up, it is only fair that we double check so that the coordinates are actually in there. So we are going to step down to coordinates 36, 37, 38, and 39. They're all there. So we can go back and enter waypoint 03 into the navigational computer because that's where we are heading. There's not really much more we need to do right now, so we are just going to get the balls rolling. Since our flying time to the target is fairly short, we will go into the air to ground mode. And we are going to switch master arm to on. And we are going to start our turn towards waypoint free all the while while climbing in altitude. We can also check the control panel, this button, press once. And we will see that the alignment time for the glide bombs is still at roughly three minutes. So we don't have to take any particular rush in actually getting to the target as long as we do not overfly the target in that time so the alignment will always begin when you arm the weapon so that is something you need to take into account uh, you and it is uh, very vital that you remember this because it is very frustrating to fly in towards the target and realize that your glide bombs still need to align, basically. So, do remember to align your glide bombs in time and all will be well. Now, you can see this white dotted line here and that will show how far you have to go until you reach the, um, navigate the pre-planned point. And this is very useful because it will tell you essentially when you are in range. And uh, since the glide bombs require a bit of space to operate, uh, you can't be too close. But at the same time, it is also vital not to be too far away. 
Of course, the higher altitude you got, the high, the further away you can release the ordnance, since they will be very apt at using uh, whatever height advantage they have to gain speed and glide on it, as the name implies. So, with the alignment complete, it is now time for us to uh, prepare for the attack. We will do a visual check of the target area, which is straight ahead. And we will try to launch at about soon-ish. So, we will switch to the PP mode here. And, as you can see, if you are in the control mode, you will see that channel 36, one of the waypoints, is currently pre-selected. We are soon within range, as indicated by this launch bar here. And once we are within range, we can start delivering our ordnance onto the bridge and hopefully help out our troops. Now we shall also try to aim the airplane a little bit upward so we get all the speed and altitude we can for the deployment of the glide bombs. In fact, I might actually play it a little bit safer, fly a little bit closer. And make sure that we are firmly within range. And when you're in range, the line here will change from a dotted one to a solid one. Which is frankly really, really helpful. So we are pretty far away. So I feel that we can actually test out exactly how accurate it will be on this distance with such smaller targets. So, bomb one is away, and we will switch to the second bomb, switch to channel 37 for the next waypoint. And same thing, we switch to channel 38, uh, the next pre plan point, bomb away. And the last bomb will be going towards uh, pre plan point 39. So, bombs are away, and we are going to set ourselves into the autopilot. And we are gonna see how our glide bombs are doing right now. Currently, it seems like all of them are on track to impact the target. Some of them are settling in on their flight path. But so far, so good, I would say. Hopefully, it will continue that way. Because there's always this little uncertainty when launching towards coordinates that you want to make sure that the coordinates are as accurate as possible. But that is not always ne that is not always something you can guarantee. Uh, but so f so far it seems like the bombs are heading towards the target and this is essentially overkill as it is. As you can see the bomb is currently making sure that it has enough momentum to carry on its course towards the bridge. And uh, it also looks like the bombs are going to have different... Yeah, that, that might actually hit the water, we'll see. The bridge is out. I say again, the bridge is out. It is unclear how many weapon impacts we actually hit there, how many that hits the support pillars of the bridge, and how many that actually hit the water. But I did pick myself a rather difficult target for this one, and that is also why we decided to use four bombs on the same target. So, that has been the LS-6 glide bomb in the pre-planned mode. I hope this has been of help to you, and I'll see you in the sky.